If you have struggles of where you need to put your hands right before when you're gonna swing, stay tuned, I got you. When the kid start in the in the stands, I really don't care where he gonna put the hands, but I really care where he gonna put the hands when he start landing with the front foot. When he's in the separation mode, he need to have that knob somewhere to the feet of the catchers or to the knees of the catcher. More preferable or better if I want consistency, okay? So I see kids hitting with the hands over here. And when they land, they get right here, scap loaded, hands connected to their shoulders and knob, looking somewhere over there to the knees of the catcher or to the feet of the catcher. Why? Because look at how simple when the knob is over there and the bat is right here. Look at how simple my swing is. You just turn your wrist, turn your body, into it, your back shoulder to it, and look at how simple you can get the barrel there. Now, if your knob is looking somewhere else, and it's here, and you wanna start turning to the ball, normally the barrel will go back anyway, so you're gonna start going back over here and get through it. So I prefer, basically, when that landing go, that knob over there, so we can keep it simple, and then you turn. Now, if your key has struggle, struggle or disconnection and hands going away and around the ball and he can get it done and he want to be like Javier Baez and all these Gary Sheffield, all these people that shake their hands a lot and when he lands, he's not getting here, we need to avoid that or we need to tell, let him know. You need to get on rhythm and at some point when you get in the separation, you get here, okay? You can be over here, but when you land, we want to be in this position. If you're not there, and he's a small kid, and I mean, he's a uh, young age, I would suggest to start over here with the knobs and the knees of the, the, knees, knees of the catcher or feet of the catcher, and right there, it's cap loaded, so I don't have to mess with that. Batting their shoulders or close to their shoulders, and I just kind of use my legs to get the power and low and get your timing with your body, with your lower body and not with your arms. If the kid don't have control of that, he's gonna start dragging the bat and going around. So if we're gonna avoid that, basically I put their hands close to the body, bat in their shoulder kind of thing, a scap loaded. Why? Because I want them to swing with the back, not with the arms, okay? So if I scap loaded right there, I basically load with my lower body, and when I get a separation, right there. If that's, that's a good drill on deck, can you do? Make sure. You time in the picture, and when you time in the picture, where is your knob? Okay, if your knob is not there, work on it. I promise, if you're there, and you do your, the right swing, the way we work, not just whatever swing, turning behind, it's gonna help you a lot, and you're gonna be more consistent. Boom, right there. In this drill, you can work on the separation in the knob, looking to the catcher and hands connected. Basically what you're gonna do, you can put your feet together or away or like a little bit away from each other, however you want, but you're gonna land, stay in the back leg, and when you get here, your scap is loaded, right? And the knob is looking down there somewhere, feet of the catcher, knees of the catcher, and you. Okay? Make sure you don't go forward, you stay in your back leg. Basically, right there. People, if you like this video, hit a like, subscribe, follow us, 
we got Instagram, we got Facebook, we put a lot of knowledge, but please let us know something. And we're gonna put more for you. And any questions, let us know. See ya!